So I came in yeah. before bits started coming out the side. Yeah, we pulled it in, we dropped the oil. Yeah. And we found tiny little bits of flaky bits little, of... Little brass, brass things again. Hello John, how uh, are you? Very good, thank you, very good. Good. Looking ahead to Spa in a couple of weeks. Yeah, definitely. And um, between the last video on a very wet and cold Snesterton, yes. we've been through a journey. <laughs> yes, we have. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think if we recap where the last time we, we did a video, we were at Snesterton had some problems yeah we did we had um oil pressure just slowly but surely started to drop down through the floor slowly just steady um very um unusual because everything we checked over before the test showed that there was no issues nothing like that and we run um, race after race yeah we've done all i mean all actually yeah. touch wood we didn't have any problems no nope. uh, and then we noticed this and we you know, we called it short, didn't we? Because we started getting worried because it started to go down a lot. You know, when we took it back to the workshop and we actually took it apart and we found, which was very unusual, that um, the bearings at the bottom and the mains had actually started to go and actually, you know, completely fall apart, especially the middle one, which was very unusual. Uh, so we took it, took the rest of the engine apart and then, lo and behold, we found that it, um, the valves had managed to hit the pistons as well. So one of the little misdemeanors, a little rev over or whatever had happened. I did, I did do it once in that yeah, session, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so whether that, you know, had started that off and uh, it damaged the cam as well. So it was like, oh my God, we were in trouble here. Uh, so we then sent the head off and had it all rebuilt. And just to clarify, uh, the the valve to piston contact was on the- On the exhaust side, as, exhaust as it is. It's no, never normally on the inlet side. And uh, yeah, sure enough, when we seen, you can see the the, the, the the damage of the piston, the valves touched. Um, so we then had to get new cam fitted. Um, we did all that. We did the head was redone all again. Um, we did all the bottom end, checked everything, cleaned out even a new in, new oil cooler. We cleaned everything for debris, done all that rest, all the usual things that we do. Uh, put it all back together again and, and went it, to it was... ready for Snetterton again. Our favourite place to go to, yeah. I think. <laughs> so when when you rebuilt, rebuilt the bottom end with a new crank, new crank, new, new shells, bearings, new oil pump, yeah. uh, all the usual stuff that you change. Oh, uh, there's a new oil pump as well. Yeah, we always put a new oil pump in just in case, because any debris gone in starts to score the oil pump, then you might start losing a bit of oil pressure. So we had to make sure, and also we had spoke to um, Market Owned Developments, who suggested that we raise the oil pressure up even more because with adding more boost that we need to have a higher oil pressure uh, so we put a shim into the oil pressure relief valve which then would allow the oil pressure to stay a little bit higher a bit longer and unfortunately we didn't we didn't get a chance to put an oil temperature sensor in. no we didn't we ran out of time because we wanted to because we were getting ready for silverstone so we we you know for the data and all the rest of it would help us with oil pressure and you and you knew you were keeping your eye on on oil pressure like more than anything else yeah. you're like looking at, you know. And then, it's it again, and it was and it pissed it down it with rain. rain. <laughs> it was raining all day, but it gave you a great time to double check everything with the engine, the oil pressure, and all the rest of it. And we basically we had a good day. We the did. Day it um, ran the car ran. I think we ran for it was the 300 circuit, and yeah. we did probably 30 laps. Oh god, yeah, if yeah. not, yeah, lots of. I mean, you were in and out, in and out. It yeah. was, and the car ran great, and we it felt did. really good and. And it actually felt was exciting. Felt and you added boost as well, didn't you? No, no, you didn't add boost. Did you not no. add any boost that day? No. Nope. Engine felt, you know, remarkably uh, strong. You, yeah, you, you thought it sounded, it sounded it a little different as well, and felt, it seemed to be felt stronger, a bit happier, you know. Breathed. It felt like it breathed better. You know, it wasn't. You know, it was more stronger going up the rev range. Yeah. You know, obviously the car's got great traction, and I think you took some video from the. Uh, from the side, didn't yeah, you? yeah, and oh, just amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I can see you take a video of them. Uh, you had decent trips around that corner. I don't know if you got any of them. Yeah, I think we did. We got yeah. a few of them. Yeah, I mean the car. Yeah. So I'll try and cut that into this video, yeah. so you can see. Yeah. 
So I mean that was that was the the, the car basically was just lovely. I mean, we thought, right, we've cured yeah. the problem, we've got Chilled no up. issues, um, let's go. You know, we're ready. We got it back to the workshop, checked everything again as you do. So oh, I said we did have we did have one problem at Sneston, if you remember, because uh, I was out doing a race sim, and other than a boring red flag which I was sitting in the pits for for ages, um, I think I was 12 or 13 laps in. Uh, and you know, got a bit oh, crunchier um, on the gears, oh, the ge yeah. <laughs> and then and then I lost the clutch. You, right, lost, you go, yeah. put your foot down. Oh, and the bracket nothing, broke no. on the black bracket broke on the slave it side, didn't it? It is. Yeah. So uh, we had to replace that when we were back in. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, yeah, that was the one thing that stopped us at the end of the day. Or you could have done even more laps. So we didn't do quite a whole race sim. I think we did half an hour in total or something. Yeah, but it was crikey, you know, this this is really nice. You know, yeah. we're happy. It felt really good. Yeah. So then, uh, so you got it back to the workshop. Went through everything, changed that bracket, put another bracket on, did another thing because we seen a bit of flex. So we made another little bracket to try and help it, to make sure there was none of that flex. And basically, we all went to Silverstone with plenty of high uh, hopes. You know, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, there was no reason not to be. So with uh, with all the successful work that we've done at Sneston, we uh, rocked up to Silverstone. We did, yeah, yeah. The hottest May bank holiday weekend. God, was it ever? <laughs> no, um, unbelievable weather. We had just Sunday morning, glorious day. Um, I think we're out. Yeah, we were out first. Yeah, come out of the assembly area. What, I'm watching the oil pressure, and it's you know six and a half, seven. It's all good. And you know, I'm doing first lap, second lap. Because you were out first, you wanted to get out early, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You? Really, you to have get to get some clear, clear, clear room. You have to. I... Uh, unfortunately, this time at Silverstone, they were still coming out of the pits after the end of my first lap. So they were coming out of the pits, and I'm full chat going around the village and everything, flashing, but you still get your lap ruined. So I didn't get out of that, but I got, got a really a reasonable, reasonable lap because you were at one stage, you were first. Yeah. For a while, which was which was which was encouraging because so I'm doing, you know, circulating the laps and, you know, going down the hangar straight is a lot of time, for you just sitting there, for your foot on the floor, and for a few of the gears it felt slightly hesitant. More laps, three or four laps later, you know, I could see the oil pressure had gone from being a good six to a five, so it's not on the floor, but nope. it's no. Nope. Oh, of course, way. it was been happening. We're all going, oh my going god! The wrong yeah. way. So I came yeah. in, we had a chat, didn't we? Yeah. And you're like, well, you know, we checked the pressures and and then, well, you know, see how you get on. So I did, and I, then then I went out again. You know, I could see down the straight the oil pressure was just going down by, you know, point two, point three bar every lap. Yeah. Yeah. It just went down and down, and then when it got to below four, it started panicking. Yeah. It's only going one way, and it didn't go anywhere near as low as that as at Sneston. No, which doesn't make didn't make any sense at the time. It just didn't make any sense. So I came in. Yeah. Before bits started coming out the side. Yeah, we don't want to do that. <laughs> I didn't want to do that, which was a good move. So pulled it in. We dropped the oil. Yeah. And we found tiny little bits of flaky little, bits little of little brass brass things again. So we knew that. It was... And then we thought, no, I'm not taking. And, and I just said to you, and I'm really sorry, you know. I'm not taking the chance. We can't afford to destroy, destroy, destroy the engine. We just pulled the pulled the thing, which we which we did. And we were due from from the race. Yeah, if we had to. You know, it's frustrating, but it was the right call because when you opened it up. Yeah. So sure, sure enough, we found yeah bottom end again. Again. Which was which was absolutely mind blowing, and uh, the engineering company found that. Um, it looked like the bottom of the crank, the bottom of the engine, the, had taken a little twist. And it had just, just, you know, we're talking thousands, you know, movement, but it had just pinched in the, the crank. And obviously when it's on the power and then it's starting to be asked to work, then it was getting tighter and it's just starting to damage the bearings. So that's what, what the problem was. Nothing, thank God, nothing wrong with the head. So all the work that was done to the head was fine. No damage to that. Uh, no damage to the pistons. Um, it was just that the block had started to take a, a thing we saw. We've had a new second-hand block, and that's been line board. Uh, everything's been double-checked, triple-checked. 
made sure the uh, clearances, press it. yeah everything and uh, all the clearances have been double checked and done that they've had a uh, They've uh, taken little bits um, to give little bits more clearance on the pistons to the head to make sure we've got no chance that anything can touch. Uh, valves have been double checked to make sure there's plenty of clearance on all that. So if we do have an over rev, it's not going to, unless it's a massive one, it's not going to have any What, what any does clearance. massive mean? I mean, like you do, you know, <laughs> really silly, 12, silly, 000. silly, yeah, 12 grand or whatever, you know, <laughs> and then we go, oh, that's it anyway, whatever. But we've just, we, what we've done is we've gone really, really, you know, gone into every last bit to make sure that this this engine is is not going to have it well you can never guarantee it's a race engine things happen but to do the best that we possibly can to make sure this engine doesn't destroy itself again when we get when we get the engine back in the car um next week it's off to the dyno and so they're going to check all the fueling they're going to go through every single bit of the of the mapping to make sure there was no issues with a sensor that might be given a bit too much fuel or anything like that because so we, we have lost the odd tip on the plugs haven't we yeah so we want to double check all that in case that it's having a little bit too much fuel going in through that cylinder or whatever because that can go into the oil degrade the oil a little bit and there's there's, there's i think a combination of little things might so yeah. if we go through and we got oil temperature sensor going on oil temperature sensor it'll have um cowling around cowling around the thing uh, and then basically mark's going to sit there and he's going to run the engine in and then he's going to run it as normal and full then going to work the boost all the way through run it on full boost for a good length of time so the whole day is going to be likely on that rolling road working this car so that we know that that engine the oil pressure stayed absolutely solid. The oil temperature stayed solid. Try and get us because what we're after is is for what you know, winning, worked, winning. But also, but, <laughs> That's but also, after wins. Yeah, but wins. But we want you the reliability that you can go out and actually think yourself. I ain't got to worry about the engine because yeah. I know the engine is it's, it's good because we just sort very the distracting. Boxes. Oh yeah, because all you're doing yeah. is thinking about is oil pressure, oil pressure, yeah. oil pressure. Yeah. So hopefully, come next week, we've got a. Engine, an engine completely that's together, all in one piece, and we've tested. With, with, and that will deal with lots of beefs, no problems. That's what we want. And then we go to Donington on the Friday. Yep. And we're doing a video with um, a YouTuber called Petrol Ped. All right, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, think yeah. I told yeah. you about this. Yeah. So I've invited him. He did a feature on uh, Lancia Delta being one of his favourite cars, is quite a lot of people's favourite car as well. And uh, so he's going to have half a dozen laps in the car right and then either myself or rob will get in the car and do a half a dozen laps with him <laughs> you know he'll do he'll do his own video and, and create some good content fingers crossed Darlington. Oh, everything everything's Goes lovely and smoothly <laughs> yeah that's what we like and then the following wednesday we leave seven o'clock in the morning for it's belgium for belgium yeah and i think we're planning planning on live streaming qualifying in the races at Spa as oh, yeah. well. Oh crikey, that'll be interesting. If there's enough. So you just do the best with what we got and we'll go from it. Great. Right.